No, so the woman came in. Okay. So I talked to her about him and everything. I, because I said, let me tell you all about him and see if it's something that you're, you know, what, what we know about him up to this point. So if, he, if it doesn't work out, I said, and there's there's a likelihood that it may not because they are ultimately still in an apartment. <clears throat> so I told her all about him, everything that I know from the foster, everything you know about him from here. And she's like, I'm still really, really interested. Told me about their family and everything. So okay, give me all of your contact information if it doesn't work out. Or the absolute first person I'm going to call. So I got off the phone with a guy yesterday that had him, called her, and I said, What do you think? She's like, Oh my God, let me talk to my husband and I'll call you back. And I said, Absolutely. So. And you're here. I'm here. And the store's full of people. We're busy. And she calls me back like five minutes later. She's like, My husband says, Yeah, he really wants to meet this guy. She's, she's still here. Um, she'll be back this afternoon. I mean, unless something happens between now and then. But yeah, as of right now, she's still with us. <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> that would be great. All right. You're welcome. Bye-bye.
You're probably ready for round two of food anyway, though, aren't you? You're like a teenage boy. You're always hungry. He did already have two bowls. Oh, he had two already? Immediately. As soon as we got here. He ate two of them? I was still okay. feeding the other ones, and he had finished his first one. He usually waits so, a little while, but that's okay. We found out yesterday that his his threshold was two full bowls, because so I gave him the third one. Oh, okay. And he didn't eat. He only had one today. Okay. But I know of and they, they just heard it. But see, I think they ate this morning because um, I think they had already been fed. And you're probably hungry again because you're always hungry, Charlie. Well, not always. You found your... Okay, so. So we're calling back. We're hard. She calls back. We're talking. And she's like, so how can we make this happen? So I called Doug back. I'm like, okay. I said, let me find out if he can bring her back to the bring him back to the shelter time. Um, you know, theoretically this is what I'm doing. You know, so just hypothetically will this work for me? She's like, yeah, that sounds like it might actually be really great. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so, you can't well, no, he wanted to bring here. I'm like, I literally have no way of getting back to the shelter because all of our cars are full. Aren't they cute? So, <laughs> I've just got this one. I oh, that fits here. Here we go. It's really cute, but there's just, a, there's just that there's, one. There's one I killed. I bought some um, fruit and vegetables to go with your ham. Well, that's, oh, that's already one. gone. You can follow me. You don't know me at all? Do I look like I eat fruits and vegetables? Nickel's wrong with you. So I drink my protein shake, so I don't have to eat that crap. Um, it's true. Um, so I call him back. I'm like, okay, here's what I need to do. So he brings the dog back. I take all these dogs back, bring them all. You know, and say, you know, I'm here, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll do it for something like that. I said, you can see me in the parking lot. Can you not? You see what's back and forth? Okay, then. Yeah. Can we just leave these dogs in the car? So I'm going to be here and do it. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So I get I get Bjorn back. 